So team, yesterday was just the most amazing day. I went to a place called the Hearst School in which we have put three amazing towers into a classroom with holding 35 children. Uh, it's been in there for six to eight weeks and they've done an incredible job. So I thought you'd like to have a look. Let's go, I'll show you where we're at. Right team, we are at, where are we at? The Hurst, are we at? Hurst School, Hurst School in North, North Hampshire. The Hurst School, so. Hello. Hello, this is Tom, this I'm is Steve. Tom. So Tom is in charge of the Urban Growing Club, is that correct, Tom? It's more of a joint. It's more of a joint thing. Yeah. But you're pretty much the main man. You, you build these towers, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Amazing. So, these towers have been in here for around about six to eight weeks and I mean I really don't need to say much more than quite what have they done with them because they look absolutely extraordinary. Steve, has it been difficult to get them to this type of level? Um, definitely not. Uh, I think this, when we first got going it, it seems a bit intimidating but actually what we found there was just three steps and that is number one, make sure they're in the right amount of water in them, simple watering can, check the EC level with the pen which couldn't be simpler and then effectively just have some things to grow and then the rest of it does itself, it's wonderful. It's amazing. Have you found it really interesting or difficult to do? Um, it no, it's been quite easy, um, except like the nutrients and the acids, we have to get certain help. Oh, that's fair enough yeah. though, isn't it? I think if you're going to run this, the key thing is just a little and often every day, so every day the guys will come out, they'll check the pH level, which is which is nice and good, good science. Yeah. Um, once a week we're finding that it looks a bit warmer, so top it up, and then we'll just check the nutrient levels on there. But again, that's a good 20 minutes work uh, for a week, and the rest of it is just picking and eating and looking at the marvellous things we've grown. So, so what are you doing with the product when, when, when it's actually grown? I saw what some of the guys were literally taking it home. Is that yeah, right? um, at the moment we are taking them home. And then what about this? So come over here and have a look at these. I don't know. So what do you reckon that is? Now that's pretty close, right? Because it looks, you know, it looks exactly like that. It's actually a rainbow charm. Yeah, yeah we have, have, you seen, have you seen though with the rainbow chart what happens when you have a look at these roots? Oh my gosh, they're red. Oh so the roots are also red. And here you've got like that's the, that's that thing there is called the tap root. And that's the main root that comes down. And then all these little side roots, they're they're the little side bits off the side of these roots are called rootlets. Little baby roots. Yeah, and I mean that's not far off. Well, it's probably what, a couple of weeks on harvesting? I mean, here, I mean, I think yeah, this chard needs to come out. There's yeah, another one do. there. Alright, so we probably need to get rid of this chard actually. Take this one out. It's got a bit big. Maybe this, this large lettuce as well. Great be. roots on the, on the chilies. Yeah. We'll probably take this one. I might take this one tonight actually and take these two. Yeah. And then that'll give us a bit more room actually. Yeah? I think I'd better take the chard as well. When it comes to. I think the chard with butter. Beautiful. Right, try that. Yeah. Who will teach them? Whoever's in here, you know, you know, this will be an organic thing, you know, I mean, we've got more and more interest in it. Every year you'll get 10 people, then up 10 year, year 8, be 20. I've had two other, two other free teachers coming in interested, Mr Hunt's interested, it's just an organic thing. It's, it's, if people are interested in, people come over here, Keith over there, come over and took a lettuce. Me? Yeah, it's amazing. It's you such know, a good so, way of doing it. You know, but every, every kid's got a little bit, and I'll say, how long has it taken you to learn? A week? Yeah. A week. Davina, what's happening in year yeah. nine for DV and these guys won't get to do DV till year nine. But this is this this could be a DV project for them at year nine. So Duke of Edinburgh, wow. you can you have to develop a skill, well you'll have the skill, or you'll just teach it to the younger generation, to the ones coming up. And it's very, very straightforward. You just gotta grow stuff. It's not and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. No, you that, just think, that is the beauty of this, is it becomes almost like a little yeah. science laboratory yeah. of trying stuff out, right? Yeah. If that doesn't work, well then, what does this fine, look like? we'll what do that? next time, we'll do that next yeah. time. And you can How just big do... can I grow this? How big will it grow? How, yeah. What colour does it look like? Yeah. What flowers will you get? How long does it take? It's not just about eating all, it's about just the growing act of it. I love it. Yeah. You know, and you give it a go and you take some bit of time. And, and then it go, have you guys seen the peas? Yeah. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. So that's getting there. So that's about two weeks away. You've only got a couple, but all of these little um, flowers are going to then turn into proper peas. Like yeah, the flowers. So we really want those to come on, don't we? Yeah. Because they are going, they will, you're going to get quite a few tomatoes off that. Yes, we are. And then all these 
It's looking pretty healthy, I have to say. You've done extremely well. Yeah, next, next we would like some cucumber lemons and strawberries. Now, do you know what I have? I have something called mini munch cucumbers, which are tiny baby ones. And I've got cucumber lemons, and I've got a few bits. So, do you know what I might do is I might send Steve some in, in the post. And then this one, if you want to use that, I'll tell you what's amazing with that, is you take it and you put it in a frying pan, and you just get some butter, and you, you melt the butter down, and then you just stir fry it in the butter with a little bit of the oregano leaf as well. All right, and that makes the most delicious type of uh, dish that will go well with a beef or anything like that, chicken, it's, it's really, really yummy. So that's something that you could do with that. But I mean, you're all, you, hey, if your fish likes that, epic. Yeah, fish quite like that. It's Does it? Yeah, bristlenose catfish is really like them. Yeah. Another cup of lettuce. Yeah. Because lettuces are really good. Yeah. He's sort of thinking about some some of the herbs too. Like, I mean, we've got a couple of basil. We've got basil, we've got coriander over there. Yeah. We've got some thyme, so. Yeah. And they can take these grows up. Yeah. So they're really keen. I think parents enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nice. Right, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Do you want some as well, Tom? Yeah. Yeah, try it. Yeah, take that thing back there. Oh, it's like a rhubarb, really, isn't it? Yeah. So if we take... Oh, we've got yeah, smaller ones here. So if That's we take really those That's really interesting, ones. isn't it? Yeah? That's really okay, sweet. Let's take those home. Try it with a bit of lettuce. Do you think it would be like celery? Okay. That's so good. These are amazing. Little flowers on everything. So, so with these, you've just got to be giving them a bit of pollination by by uh, the okay. easiest route. What we might do, Steve, is actually yeah. maybe get a, um, a fan, and we can just put a fan here. Yeah, not, not a, big, a, fan. Not yeah, a yeah. big one, just blowing that way, because yeah. what that will do is that will speed, that will stop that tip burn at the end. Yeah. Because the, the fan will basically make it suck up more water. Right, okay. And that means that it doesn't get that tip burn, but also it helps against predators. Yeah. And it also will um, pollinate the tomatoes for you. Wow. Yep. So the, yeah, the of moment, course, no you, insects. Yeah. yeah. At the moment, what you guys have got to do is you've got to, there's three ways of doing it. You either get the fan, you can do a uh, cotton bud, gear bud, and oh, you yeah. just, you've got to go into yeah. the male, into the female, two different types of um, flowers, and then, or, or you get an electric toothbrush, and you turn the electric toothbrush upside down, and you put it on the flower, and it vibrates it so hard, that then all the pollen goes across all of the different flowers. But we would like to uh, take some and sell it for a lower price. Amazing idea. Yeah. Brilliant idea. I think at the moment it's all about the eating at the moment and it's proving quite popular. But that's amazing because so, actually yeah. we, we've immediately moved from the bit where previously the guys were really seeing their food coming out of a packet in the supermarket, right? Yeah, did, you know, did you know really where your food came from before this? Yeah, I knew that it came from like a big uh, yeah. I didn't know that you could grow it like this. Yeah, amazing. I think what's been really interesting as well is seeing the flowering plants, knowing, so seeing the life cycle of a plant as well, which is often you don't really see. Seeing, you know, how a, how a plant from a herb, for instance, will get the flowers, looking at how beautiful the structures are. Because it's not just all about the eating, it's about how the, the actual plants grow in the life cycle of the different varieties of plants, the different parts of plants, for example, you know, like what they look like, what, you know, how, how they appear. And I think all of that adds to that magic of you know growing something and you know seeing it change as well and the different colours you get from the different plants as well. I think you know you become more engaged with that. Those, so. red, those purple roots on the uh, park <coughs> yeah. on the Swiss chard and like as you say the flowers and using it in different fashions and the fact that you're mixing herbs with the butterheads with all these different things so that the, so the guys can see where it all comes from. So, well I think you guys have done incredibly well and I am more than impressed. So look forward to the next time we come down and, um, and see what you've grown next time. Well, we've got, a, we've got a, lo a load more crops growing now so hopefully fingers crossed isn't it? We're going to do a yeah. bit more planting tomorrow? Awesome. And away you go. Amazing. Thank well you done guys, that's brilliant. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Right team, so I hope you found that as interesting as we did. It's been an amazing process with these guys at Hurst. And if you click on the link just about there, you will see the school visit that they did to this site. So they came and looked at these towers, they propagated seedlings. We did an amazing three hours with them. It was great. Otherwise, look forward to seeing you in the next one.